Okay, we are ready for the worksheet 5C, the Math 4 course. Um, a little imaginary number humor. All right. With the first set of problems, we are to identify all of the transformations that are involved in this. So we can look at the one ninth and say that your amp is one ninth. And we're looking to the negative three and say that you are shifting down three. And for the period, we're going to say two pi over eight which would be pi over four. That is a mighty small period. All right. <clears throat> For this one, we're gonna say that the amp amplitude is eight. We are flipping on the X axis and we are shifting down one. And as to the, well, it's the same period. So we're expecting the same answer. <clears throat> All right, here we have an amplitude of four. We are shifting up one. And our period, x over six. Well, you, you've got to remember that x over six is the same thing as one sixth x. So that means that we are saying that our period is going to be two pi divided by one sixth. Well, that is the same as two pi times six over one, which is going to make it 12 pi. That is a very long period. All right, our amplitude here is one fifth. We are shifting down three. And we're looking at the cosine of x over eight, which is the same as saying one eighth x. So our period is going to be two pi divided by one eighth, which is two pi times eight over one, which is 16 pi, even longer period. <coughs> All right, here we are given the instructions uh, and we're asked to write the equation that fits all of these. Now, the thing that we're going to have to do before we start is we're going to have to figure out, you know, what, what does the period turn into? Our formula is period equals 2 pi over b. And we're told that our period is 8 pi. Now, it probably will help to think of that as eight pi over one and cross multiply. Uh, you have one times two pi equals eight times eight pi. So if two pi, oh, wait a minute, ah, uh, wait, not eight. Sorry about that. Two pi over B. being distracted by my cat here. All right, one times two pi equals eight pi times B, which means that we're gonna get two pi equals eight pi times B. All right, when you think about it, the eight pi would have to go down by one fourth. So B is gonna to have to be one fourth. One fourth times eight pi would give you two pi. So we're ready to write our function now. Amplitude of six period is gonna be one fourth X, and then we're gonna shift it down four. And that should be what that looks like. Now let's try a period of pi over three. All right, so pi over three equals two pi over B. Now when I cross multiply, I get pi or I get B pi over here. 
and I get 6 pi over there, which means that b is going to be 6. So we're going to write y equals, we are reflecting across the x-axis with an amplitude of 10. This is a cosine parent function. And our b number for this is going to be cosine of 6x, and we're shifting down 1. That is one of everything on our list that we could possibly do at this point. All right. Okay, now we're doing the same thing. Uh, we're writing some more equations. We are going to have to stop and figure out what the period is. If the period is pi over 3, and we kind of just figured this out a minute ago, we figured out that b was going to be 6. So we're going to say y equals amplitude of 1 third sine. We're going to say 6x, and there's a shift up of 2. All right, period of pi over 4 in this case. So that means that pi over 4 is equal to 2 pi over b. So when I cross multiply, I get b pi, and I get 8 pi, which means that b is 8. So we're going to say y equals reflect means we're going to go negative. There is no mention of amplitude, so it's technically negative 1. I might as well just say negative cosine of 8x and then shift up 5. Okay. Now let's do some graphing. Sine of 2x minus 1, our amplitude is going to be 1. We're going to go down one with our, our line, uh, our, our axis. And then there's the period, which is going to be 2 pi over 2, which is plain old pi. So we can go in here now. We are going to have to go down one. So we're going to draw. Yeah, that didn't work out real well. Going to draw our green line here. Then we can figure out, all right, the sine starts on that axis, and the period is pi. We're going to pass through the halfway point. We're going to go up one, an amplitude of one, and then go down one over here. And so we can do that and do that. And that and that and that. And that. And then come over here. And that's what it should look like. All right, next one. We have an amplitude of two. And the only other thing we have is our period, which is 2 pi over 2 thirds. Now, by the time that I take 2 pi and I multiply it by 3 over 2, I'm getting 6 over 2, which is 3 pi. So I'm going to start in the center, and we're going to go to 3 pi, and we're going to cut across in the middle here. We have an amplitude of 2 which halfway from here to here is actually going to fall between the grid lines there, and then we're going down to over here. And our graph is going to look like that. Let's see now, it's going to be one and a half. Something like that. Negative sine 4x. 
we know that we are going to flip on the x-axis. And we know that our period is 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. So we're not shifting up or down, so we start here and we stop there. That means halfway is right in between. And our, oh, I forgot to mention our amplitude is 1, which means we're going to go, uh, instead of going up and then down, this is, reflect, this is flipped on the x-axis which means I'm going to go down first, and then I'm going to go up. So I will do that. And all of this will happen within the first grid line here. So that is how we're going to continue, is to do that and do that. And I don't know if you can hear my cat in the background. He thinks that his dinner hour should be a lot closer than it is. up and down and up and down and up and down and just keep repeating the pattern until we get to the end all right now we're graphing two sine of x plus two so let's see now our amplitude is two we're going up two units, and our period, uh, since there's you know sine of one x, our period is two pi. So we, oh that's right, we're going up two. So we're going to draw our little green line up here. The sine will start here, and with a period of two pi, we'll stop there cross there. We have an amplitude of 2, which means we're going to go up here and down there. Go up and down. And that is our five points. And then we're going to go up, down over here, and up, and down over here. That is it for the worksheet.